What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have Gladiators Assault First Edition Blisters. We have Raw Yellow Mega Pack Blisters, two of those. And we have two Dark Legends Blisters. You can pretty much only get these packs from these blisters, I think. So that's gonna be pretty cool, pretty rare packs. Should be a lot of fun, but first, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you wanna see from these packs. And let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's start off with a Gladiator's Assault first edition blister. We opened up a special edition of glass the other day. So now we're gonna rip open a blister. By the way, I got these from a viewer. A viewer found these for like less than $10 USD each. So he got an absolute steal and he, I think he got like 20 something of them and he sold me seven. So it was awesome of him. I really appreciate it because now we can open up some first edition glass. I've heard that you can't pull the formula out of blisters or the necroface. But I also heard that you couldn't pull Shining Dragon from Blisters. And look what happened there. So I'm just going to continue to believe it or not believe it until, you know, we pull one or we don't pull one. If we don't pull one, I'll just always believe you can pull it because there's no way to prove it otherwise. Here we go. Detonator Circle A. We've got a test date. Can we pull at least a secret ring? Ultimate ring? That'd be crazy. Oh, a Torax. So we did get a super rare on the first pack. That's not a bad start. Super rare first edition. Gladiator's Assault, I like that. We got a Raptinus, Lucky Cloud, Interdimensional Warp, and Smoke Ball. All right, next let's do, how about Dark Legends? Let's open up this Dark Legends blister. We got a Gore's Emissary of Darkness. Okay, we finally got that out. The Gore's promo looks not too bent, actually. Normally, the, these things are absolutely like crazy bent because they're in these weird blisters, but that's actually not that bad, so that's pretty good. Then we have two Dark Legends packs. All right, I, I don't even really, this is like a retro pack. I think retro pack was released in Europe. It's like the North American version, but you don't have any secret rares, so it kind of like kills the exciting part. There's still some really awesome cards in here though. I don't remember what the good foils are. We did pull a, we pulled like that trap card that can be a monster that Odeon uses. Hiyo Zenru, Mahavilo. Toon Summon Skull, so just look at these commons. The commons are great. A Dark Magician Rare? Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, so we got a Dark Magician Rare. Karibo, Guy in the Dragon Champion. Look at these, look at these cards, Harvey. Wait, what? What is this? Two Gaias in the same pack? <laughs> that's really weird. Is that normal? Jurai Gumo? See, that's a... St this set is really cool. If they had, like, secret rares in here, it'd be amazing. So we got a Dark Magician as a rare. That's, like, super weird, but also really cool. All right, let's go in the next pack. I don't know, man, I can't even remember. What are the foil? Like, is there anything crazy in the foils? Okay, we've got a uh, sensor thing, probably because it was a blister, and it was like, so if you don't steal it, you know, whatever. But uh, we didn't seal it. Whoa, okay, Giant Trunade, that's cool. This, man, there are a lot of cards in this pack. Giant Trunade, we've got a Mango Ryu Ran, Mother Grizzly, Shining Angel, Upstart, there we go, that was a good pull. Okay, Sonic Burn. Wall of Illusion, Harpy Lady Sisters, Gazelle, Curse of Dragon. These are so many. Oh, yes. The Exodia pieces. Okay, I'm going to sleep that one up for sure. I think I have a couple of Exodia pieces from last time we opened this. I know that the Exodia head, I think, is, a, is an ultra rare in here, which is weird because Dark Magicians are rare, so maybe I'm wrong about that. All right, next, let's go into a Raw Yellow Mega Pack Blister. So we got our uh, Legendary Six Samurai Sheen Super Rare promo. And not only that, you get three packs in there. That's really nice because... Raw Yellow Mega Pack actually has some great value. It doesn't have any cards that are worth a crazy amount, but it does have some pretty valuable cards in terms of like five to 10 to $15. There's a lot of cards. That is why it's called a Mega Pack. Hero Mask, here we go. Prisma. Uh, oh, this is like uh, like Legendary Collection and stuff. Like the Yugi's World, because it has Ultras and all that. R Righteous, see that's E Emergency Call, that's huge. R Righteous Justice Secret Rare, that's really cool. Let me get those foils out. Cunning of Six Samurai and Gallus, the Star Beast. I forgot they're like that. These might have been the first ones to do that, actually. Did they? No, these might have come out after you used mm, Or did they? Maybe, no, Legendary Collection 2 probably came out before this, or did it? I can't remember. I have no idea. It's all, it's all kind of muddled together in like 2011, 2012. Fusion Recovery, Hero Mask. Garoth, Lightsworn Warrior. The Six Samurai Yaichi. H E D R. Okay, we're getting all of them except the one. Oh, DD Crow. Good. Except the one we really want. Sparkman, the alternate art. That's cool. That's unfortunate. If we get if those are E emergency calls, those are like $20 cards, I think. 
In, well, maybe in first edition. These are unlimited, so they might be worth a little bit less. All right, we have Mudball Man. We have a Test Tiger. That's cool. Magical Mallet. Elemental Hero Flame Wing Man as a rare. We're seeing all kinds of great cards as rares. Future Fusion. That's cool. Crystal Promise. It's not bad. Amethyst Cat. Venomenon, the King of Poisonous Snakes, as a common. That's weird. Time for another Gladiator's Assault First Edition Blister. These were found for less than $10. That's just so crazy to me. Because these are worth a lot more than that now. All right, first edition glass. Whew. Let's get a nice ulti secret. That's really what we're looking for. We're really looking for a nice ulti. We're looking for a nice secret. We have a Chamberlain of the Six, Sam. Fog Control. Gambler of Legend. Light Imprisoning Mirror. Oh, we did get an ultimate rare. Gladiator Beast Alexander. This time, they actually have the name. Last time we pulled this, it didn't have a name, but that is super awesome. Actually, let's let's look at the card before we put it in the sleeve. There we go. We can hold it like that. Check that card out. Super clean. That might be gradable. Look at the back. Oh, wow. That, like, might be a PSA 10. The centering top to bottom is not perfect, but it's still pretty good. I think we're going to try and grade that one. By the way, speaking of grading... I have a PSA return coming back this week, and it has one of our cards from the Metal Raiders opening. You guys probably guess what it is. I haven't looked at the grade yet. It's hopefully a 10. I think it should be. But also, I've sent in like five other subs, so we're going to have some awesome PSA return videos eventually, whenever they grade everything. But I'm really excited about those. Okay, let's do one more glass. We're doing well with the glass. One more glass, and then let's go back to the other blisters. Wow, that's super cool that we got an I like a cool ultimate rare, too. It wasn't like an energy absorbing monolith or an updraft. It was an actual cool one. I don't think the value is too high on the Alexander, but it is still really epic. All right, we've got Demon Card. Let's pull another crazy card. Let's pull a Secret Rare. Let's pull Magic Formula out of a Blister. First edition. Let's do it. Ghost Fog. It was a spell card. I was like, ooh. Yeah, this is like a 2 or $3 common, or rare though. So that's pretty good. Next pack, we have Dark Legends. Let's do that. We'll do Raw Yellow Mega Pack after this one. Those Dark Legends blisters are like opening a, a vault or something. They're not easy to open. Okay, this one is not... I think it's a little bent. Yep, this one's a little bent, unfortunately, but that's okay. Another promo. They're impossible to open, but here we go. Dark Legends. Two more of these awesome packs. Pretty rare. Pretty fun to open. Can we pull a foil? I don't even know what's in here as a foil. Can we get one? It's just so I can know. Comic card number one, and because I want a foil. Giant Rat, here we go. Gaia, power, painful choice. Wow, that's nice. Giant Trunade. Sango of the Thunder, just a rare, unfortunately. Thousand Drag, do they even come with foils? Right Arm of the Forbidden, I'm just kidding, I pulled one. Right Arm, that's nice. Can we get another arm? Come on. Remember when we pulled three in one pack? Thunder Dragon, that's nice. Two good commons in one pack. I will take that. Thunder Dragon, and we got another piece of Exodia. Can we pull the head out of the last pack here we go <sighs> believe that we can do it can we summon the forbidden one? Oh, okay don't ruin anything good all right tune mermaid we ruined Senju, but that's okay come on giant rat give us something good here come on baby giant germ we got double giants what does that mean what's giant exodia exodia is pretty big mystical space typhoon gaia power i thought that was it Hey, Guardian, we got something giant. It's just a rare. I, guys, oh, two pieces, three pieces of Exodia in one pack. Okay, 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 okay. Can you even pull foils? <laughs> I can't. We got three. Wait. Okay, I don't. Do we have the whole thing? I think we have the whole thing. Time out. Sleep Gate Guardian. Just a rare, but incredible. I think he might be worth something in a rare, because does he even have another rare printing? He probably does, but. All right, we have left, right, left, right, and then a left. We only got one leg. Man. We got one leg, but that's okay. Uh, does anyone know what is the Exodia had a rare or is he an ultra? I'm gonna have to pop it up on the screen. I don't. I've never seen one. I don't think these are they're probably actually pretty rare. I don't think they're valuable, but they're probably actually pretty pretty tough to find on Dark Legends. So we got a lot of Exodia pieces. That's a plus. We didn't get any foils, but I'll take the Exodia piece. Gay Guardian, Dark Magician. We pulled good stuff, so I'll take it. Back to Gladiator's Assault. We're pulling some crazy stuff in this video. Wow, that was uh wild all right gladiators assault here we go we pulled an ultimate rare so far can we do it again can we do a secret rare 
Magic formula, Necroface. I will lose my mind if we pull one of those. Poison Cloud, here we go. Let's just do it right now. Let's just lose my mind. Nope, that's not gonna happen. If that was an updraft, then I would have I would have actually lost my mind. All right, we have three more glass. Let's go ahead and do Mega Pack, and then we'll do the glass for the last three packs. We got another Xi'an, and we got three more packs. Well, let's see, we didn't get too much last time out of the Mega Packs. Can we pull Cyber Dragon? There's alternate art Cyber Dragon in here, so let's try and pull that. We got Burst into Tricks. We got a Stratos as a common. That is a good card. Mudball Man. Chimera Tech Over Dragon was the same as last time. Okay, we got a Nisha Nisashi. Oh, I called it! Cyber Dragon Secret Rare. Let's go. What a beautiful one. I think this one's worth around $10, which is not bad for an unlimited card. Cyber Dragon Secret Rare Alt Art. I like the original art better, but I do like this art as well. I think it looks cool. So that's a good pull. And Necro Shade, Kasha, and Rise of Snake Deity. All right, we got a sick Cyber Dragon. Now what do we want? Uh, e Emergency Call is the only other one I can think of. I know there's something else good in here, though, but I can't remember what it is. Sapphire Pegasus. U-Bell. Come on. We've had a lot of six Samurais. <laughs> is that H-Heated Heart? Do we have all of them except the E? Do we have H-R-O? No, we don't have an O. I think we have two H's, actually. Yeah, we have H-R-H. Okay. So we're pulling a lot of the same ones. DD Crow again. That is awesome. I'll take that. Double DD Crow. That's pretty unlikely, actually. That's pretty cool. DD Survivor and Anishi. All right. Final Raw Yellow Mega Pack. So far, we've done better on this blister for sure with the Cyber Dragon. Definitely better than last time. Already through two packs. Gladiator's Return. We're opening Gladiator Beast. What a surprise. That just fits perfectly. Groth Light Sword Warrior again. Got a double edged sword technique. Oh, that's actually a really good one. Secret Rare, Destiny Hero, Malicious. That's one of the better Secret Rares. Okay. Okay, Hero Blast. That's cool. Anishi. We pulled Anishi in Ultimate Rare recently. Maybe we'll pull another one out of glass. Three more packs. Gladiator's Assault, first edition. Can we pull Absolute Flames? I believe that we can do it. So far, we pulled pretty awesome. Oh, that just absolutely disintegrated. Here we go. Let's pull something good. AKA the book. No entry. Contact out. Alien Telepath. Okay, we got a contact out and Alien Telepath. Not terrible. Two more chances at a huge card. I mean, how many glass packs have we opened at this point? We've opened three special editions at 60 packs. We have a 100 pack opening. We've done a 48 pack opening. That's 208 packs, not counting couple other times we opened glass so we've opened over 200 packs that's really not much compared to how many secrets are in here but uh still a lot of packs swift strike arm infinity dark chamberlain of the six samurai oh oh a secret rare oh royal firestorm guards okay it wasn't magic formula but that's a secret rare first edition this one's actually worth something i think too i think it was worth like 50 bucks or something I mean, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness. That card looks really good, so we're going to have to grade these. Uh, centering is not fantastic on this one right there. It's a little thick compared to that side, but that's still really cool. Out of only seven packs. So thanks again to the viewer who sold me those. Because one, he found them at a great price, and then he hooked me up for the same price he paid. So that guy's just an absolute legend. So appreciate that again. Finally, we have one more pack. Wow. Glad I used this whole... We've had some crazy luck. A secret rare and an ultimate rare? That is unreal. I never would have expected that. Our former terrible glass, glass luck has really improved. Whew, final first edition pack. Can we pull... I mean, what do we even... What if we won now? Another secret rare? I mean, that's just insane. There's no way. Disarm. Poison Cloud. Battle. Galadius. Bestiari. Hit the like button for luck, guys. Goblin Black Ops. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We did really good in this opening. We did extremely well in this opening, actually. For We opened, like, what, 19 packs? We pulled some really good stuff. Let's go over what we got. All right, guys. From all that, we pulled two. We got our all of our promos from the blisters. So those are cool. We got a Stratos Common. We got Contact Out, two of those. We got Colosseum Cage of the Gladiator Beast. We got an Alien Telepath. Upstart Goblin. Thunder Dragon. We got five Exodia pieces, which is wild. We got a Dark Magician Rare. Gate Guardian Rare. Double DD Crow, which is pretty wild, actually. Gladiator Beast Torax, Cyber Dragon Secret Rare, Destiny Hero Malicious Secret Rare, 
Royal Firestorm Guards First Edition Gladiators Assault Seeker Rare, and an Ultimate Rare Gladiator Beast Alexander. We pulled some pretty awesome stuff from those packs, so I'm super happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and subscribe for more content. And that's it for today. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>